Hey there, Attack Wing players. This is going to be a quick rules overview of the episode organized play event, the arena. Pre-game setup for the arena is the same as the standard two-player matchup, including a planetary obstruction token in the center of the board. At the end of round one of play, during the end phase, each player's highest skilled captain, and you will be able to choose if there is more than one, will be sent down to the planet and will receive an away team marker. Any captain with an away team marker is unaffected by anything that affects the ship he was previously on, and the captain's abilities no longer affect that ship since he is no longer on it. At the end of round two, your new highest skill captain is now also transported to the planet in the same way as the first one. At the end of round three, any of your remaining captains are also beamed down to the planet. At this point, the battle in space will be suspended, all tokens and ships, including the planet and any minefields that were placed, will be removed from the board until after the captain's battle is resolved. After at least one round of play and one of your captains is on the planet, all of your ships may take the following action. If the ship is within range 1 to 2 of the planet, you may use your action to roll a number of dice equal to the captain skill of one of your captains on the planet. These dice, however many come up battle stations, yields one raw materials token for the captain you rolled for. These raw materials tokens will be used later during the captain's battle to determine how many attack dice that captain will be rolling in combat. It should be noted that while a captain is on the planet, if his ship is destroyed, it does not affect that particular captain. However, if a captain is still on his ship when it is destroyed and he has not yet been beamed down to the planet, he will not be joining the other captains in the captain's battle. In the captain's battle, captains will attack one at a time in descending order of their captain skill from high to low. If you have two or more captains with the same skill number, they will resolve in order of initiative from the ships that they were originally on before the battle began. When attacking with a captain for the captain's battle, you will roll either six dice if you can discard a materials token, or three dice if you have no materials tokens on your captain. For every hit or critical hit result that your captain rolls, your attack will deal one damage. The defending player then assigns all the damage from that attack to one of his captains. When a captain has an amount of damage equal to or greater than his captain skill, that captain is then discarded. The captain's battle continues in this manner until all captains on one side or the other are defeated. Once every captain has attacked, a new round of combat in the captain's battle will begin, and you'll start again from the highest to lowest captain skills available. Special resources like the elite attack die and the command tokens, which may be used once around, may be used in the captain's battle, and may be used again once per round as dictated by how often the captains attack. Captains with a zero skill involved in the captain's battle are not immediately discarded, but they can only take one attack regardless of how much damage it would do to them. The victorious player in the captain's battle takes all of his remaining captains and may redistribute them as he pleases among the ships that survived the first three rounds of combat. Any extra captains you have will be placed underneath a ship card and will be counted only for points for the opponent if that ship gets destroyed. The victorious player will also set up the battle area as they see fit starting with the planet token and then the ships of both himself and his opponent. All of these ships and the planet token cannot be within range one of any edge of the board or of each other. After this, the opponent is given the ability to rotate their own ships 90 or 180 degrees to face whichever direction they want. After this, the battle in space continues as normal the winner will be the one who eliminates all of his opponent's ships. With the winner of the captain's battle receiving an additional 15 fleet points for every captain of theirs that survived the battle. If you're using fighters in this scenario, fighters do not have a captain, so they will not affect the captain's battle in any way due to the number of tokens. If you're using the reinforcement sideboard, any captain on the sideboard is not transported down to the planet for the captain's battle. They also may not be used to replace a captain that has been beamed down to the captain's battle until after the captain's battle has taken place, at which point the sideboard may be used as normal. That has been all of the rules and some of the frequently asked questions regarding the arena scenario. Good luck and may Q be generous with your dice.